In just a few days, Boeing hopes to write a new chapter in space history. For the first time, the company plans to launch astronauts on its new spaceship called Starliner. The high-stakes test flight to the International Space Station is years behind schedule. And it comes as the aerospace giant faces intense scrutiny after that January incident. You remember where a door panel blew off a Boeing Max plane. Ahead of Monday night's liftoff, Mark Strassman spoke with the NASA astronauts who will be flying on board. And our motto? Know everything and perform it well. <laughs> perform it well. <laughs> Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, two of NASA's yeah. most seasoned astronauts. But even for them, nothing compares to a flight assignment like this. Yeah. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined to be the crew for the first flight of a spacecraft. Every now and then it's like, wow, this is cool. Are you ready? I'm ready. In this simulator, we watch these former Navy test pilots practice docking Boeing Starliner to the International Space Station. This is the automation right here that's happening. This is a risk, and it's a higher risk than most flights. but. What a great opportunity to risk being what it is because of what the outcome could be. The outcome, NASA hopes, is annual Starliner flights to the space station. NASA wants redundancy and hired both Boeing and SpaceX a decade ago. Both companies face challenges. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. But SpaceX has launched 50 people to orbit since 2020. Boeing, none. Starliner is seven years behind schedule. This isn't a race. This is all about doing it right and doing it safely. Mark Nappy, Starliner's program manager, is eager to course correct Boeing's space odyssey. But this flight comes as Boeing's commercial airplane business faces mounting scrutiny over its safety culture, especially after a door plug fell off a 737 MAX in January. I have full confidence that people are putting the vehicle together properly and that the processes are very robust to get a safe vehicle up into orbit with people on board. For Boeing, it's been a long road to the launch pad, stung by a series of setbacks. And lift off the rise of Starliner. On its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, Starliner's mission timer, key to its automation, was off by 11 hours, dooming a planned meetup with the space station. And liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space. Boeing made it on a second try. Contact capture. But it's had to conquer problems with flight software, jam valves, parachutes, and a worry that nearly a mile of protective tape wrapped throughout the capsule could be flammable. Yeah, it's been a little bit frustrating, absolutely, because you wish everything would come together perfectly from the get-go. But Williams and Wilmore defend the delays as critical, Boeing trying to get it right. I don't look at it as a setback. This is understanding our spacecraft. You'd much rather be on Earth wishing you were in space than in space <laughs> wishing you're on Earth, right? But despite all the setbacks, Full confidence absolutely. in Starliner, full absolutely. confidence in Boeing? Yes, at this time, the, absolutely. Yeah. I know the flight directors cringe when I say this, but if we wanted to do barrel rolls around the space station, in this spacecraft, you can. Hey, Mark! Yeah. We're doing our barrel roll around yeah, the station. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looking for a barrel roll, just a safe, successful trip to the space station and back. How important is it to the Boeing brand that this flight go well? It's important to the crew, and it's important for our company because everybody in the company is behind it. They're behind what's ahead for Starliner, a space shot at redemption. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman at the Kennedy Space Center. It's funny how this leads to all these conversations. We're having we all these having... conversations about space and space travel, and obviously the uh, the, the heroes who go up in space yes. every day, putting it all online. That's incredible. But we were saying we don't know if we could do that. Yeah. I, mean, I just I just hope they get it right. I hope yeah. they get it right. They have the delays, so we'll see what happens. No I doubt still about love it. The There's idea a million different travel. variables. 100%. All right.